Today, I will demonstrate to you how do we perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation or better known as CPR. My name is Dr. Tan Kien Chai. I'm the director of the Clinical Simulation Center of RCSI UCD Malaysia campus. I'm also a certified uh, trainer for basic life support. When you approach a scene, you see somebody who is unresponsive collapse on the ground in front of you. First thing, remember D, danger. It's very important for, to make sure we are safe before we approach the scene. Firstly, ensure the scene is safe, then followed by R. R is response. You have a tap on the shoulder of the victim. Hello, sir? Sir? Can you hear me? Open your eyes. He's unresponsive. S, shout for help. Help! Patient collapse. Call 999 and come and assist me. We proceed by opening A, airway. Go near to the victim. Check for breathing. Look for chest rise, no chest rise, and C, start compression. So when you compress, it is important to kneel at the side of the victim, make yourself comfortable. At the center of the chest, put the heel of your palm at the center of the chest, and start compression. One, two, three, four, five. We are to compress as fast and hard as possible. Compress 100 to 120 beats per minute and the depth of compression should be 5 to 6 cm depth. How long do we compress? Until the victim regain signs of life. So this may take a while. So it's very important for you to shout for help and to have more people to come and assist you as fast as possible. Otherwise, if you're alone, you have to continue until the ambulance arrives. So let's assume after two minutes, you see the victim has signs of life where he starts moving to a certain extent or he starts coughing then you stop your compression and you reassess the victim open the airway again look for chest rise if he has chest rise feel for the pulse of the victim if he has a pulse then you turn him to the recovery position now basically we need to turn him to the side because unconscious victim sometimes the tongue may fall down and block the airway so when you turn him to the recovery position, the tongue will not fall back and there will be free flow of the saliva coming up, hence not obstructing the airway. That's how we demonstrate and perform life-saving skills on cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It's very important for all of us to learn at least some basic resuscitation skill because we don't know when do we need this resuscitation skill. And in those minutes or seconds, it is very important all of us as bystanders we need to know how to save life by doing CPR.